Okay, we're going to do a really quick update on some of my um, pearl oyster mycelium experiments I've got going here. Yeah, I've got all kinds of bags, a couple jars. Oh, that's a uh, King Strafaria spawn bag that I got from... Uh, I hope I don't get this wrong. I'll put it down in the uh, comments. That way I get the name exactly right. So, let's see. Up here, this one is recycled pinewood mulch inoculated with pearl oyster mycelium. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Boy, there's some Really nice mycelium running down into that corner. Beautiful strands of it. This is about one week. Man, look at that chunk of mycelium right there. That is thick. There's a little bit. Now, it looks like the backside is not quite as colonized, but that chunk in that one corner runs all the way into the back and that corner looks like it's doing really good I'm not sure why the corners look like they're doing the best I don't know if it's maybe there's more moisture there I have no idea okay that's the recycled pine wood mulch with pearl oyster I see I'm running on it this one is a cardboard box that I tore up and of course soaked in some hot water and I inoculated this with the pearl oyster mycelium and it is doing really well it's coming up through the top there it's actually coming through the cardboard Instead of just being on the other side inside of the bag, it's actually coming all the way through the cardboard. Right there is a section coming through. And it's really colonizing well. No green mold, thank goodness. This is one week old. And doing well. I don't know if you can see through the top there. It's all coming through the top and that top was more colonized and you can see here because I've been kind of cannibalizing this bag I've made a few other experiments by taking some of the top cardboard off and putting it into other uh, substrates so that one's doing awesome so that one that one one week old I have um, this bag. I don't want to disturb it too awful much. These are cherry chips. Uh oh. I see a little green right there. This one's going to have to go outside so it doesn't contaminate everything. Didn't colonize fast enough to get rid of that little green mold right there but it was doing good that's the first I've noticed it this morning but you can see where it started to run onto the wood it started to run over there it was running there and on the bottom but like I said a little green coming right there so that's gotta go I don't want that in my growing area. That was, um, let me see, I think that was about four days old. And that's just two pieces of wet cardboard. I stuck one single piece of straw. I don't even know if you can see it, the light's not very good, but I'm not going to disturb it. I stuck one single piece of straw that had mycelium growing on it in between a couple pieces of cardboard just to see if one piece of straw could colonize that whole cardboard right there 
this, another experiment that I don't know if it will work. It's a bag of just plain hay, alfalfa hay. And I actually found the alfalfa hay laying on the side of the road. So it's got to be full of contaminants. But I just uh, soaked it overnight and inoculated that with some pearl oyster mushroom. And we'll see how it goes. I actually took some of the cardboard from this and put it in this to see how it would do. And then I've got some jars of hardwood sawdust that I inoculated again with cardboard from there that was full of mycelium into here. And this I just did yesterday. And one of these I added one teaspoon of coffee to. And no, not coffee grounds just plain coffee so that was definitely not sterile and we'll see what happens so nothing in here was sterilized um, I don't know if you could consider that cardboard here to be pasteurized because I did use tap water that was almost 140 degrees but it didn't stay at that temperature for very long so but other than that nothing has been pasteurized so this is doing excellent for no pasteurization and uh, this fantastic for not being sterilized and I don't think you could really consider it pasteurized either for the time that I, I had it in that 140 degree water this soaked overnight I don't know if because it soaked overnight in the water if it would uh, kill some of the the bad um, spores and mold and stuff in it because it was anaerobic for about 12 hours but um, maybe everybody tells me that that's going to mold because it's just too much nutrients and and the the bad bad things get onto that and that none of that was sterilized either or pasteurized so we'll see and this my fail for the day with the green mold coming in the bottom that uh, was definitely probably full of bacteria and stuff because well you know I don't know it doesn't look too bad I may set that in another area and see what it does maybe the uh, mycelium will overtake it because pearl oyster mushroom or a lot of oyster mushrooms have been known to overtake mold and encapsulate it and kill it so we'll see but anyway this this chips I actually just picked up off the ground and they were sitting outside for probably six months so you know that they're full of mold spores and everything else but that's why I do experiments just to see what will happen because sometimes you get surprised Thanks for watching.